Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold and the beta has updated, which means we have some cosmetic changes to check out, which are pretty cool in my opinion. But for the main part of this video, we're going to check out the closet changes because I think they're pretty interesting and I'd like to go over what's changing. So I think what we'll do is we'll go section by section, starting with the outfit closet, which of course has a pretty major change I covered in an earlier video. So basically this entire closet has a new section dedicated towards footwear. I believe it's called the bottom section, but we could probably get away with calling it the shoe section for now. Um, as you can see with the mischief jumper, I don't have the shoes attached anymore. Same with the pleading child and same with the chuckle scout. And that's because these shoes are now disconnected from the outfit and they are put into the shoe cupboard. So I can now wear the mischief shoes with pretty much every cosmetic, so long as it doesn't have shoes already. So I can wear it with so many different outfits. Look at that, cute. Mix and match as much as you want. Now you may have noticed the Chuckle Scout and Pleading Child shoes aren't yet in the shoe closet. That's just a work in progress. They will be there eventually. And probably in a future beta update, so don't worry about that not coming to live. So pretty cool. Um, as for the pants, I don't think there's any major changes. Oh my gosh, this looks so cute with the Tanuki outfit. Oh, that looks about the same, except there's a weird stick in my leg. Strange. This one is so cute. I love the big pockets. Adorable. Now for this closet, we have another change. And this one is that we now have a face accessory closet. So quite a few items have been moved here. A lot of the base game masks, these ones here are in this closet and that means we can wear them with the normal masks as well. Kind of accessorize a little more. Same with the elder masks. So that means that we can wear an elder mask with a regular mask. You don't actually have to put on it. You can always wear it, which is really handy for those who go to Eden a lot, who go to Golden Laceland, who do the shard events. We can now wear the glasses over top of every mask. And we've also got some of the hair accessories in here too, which means we can now double up on some of the hair accessories, which is really exciting. Another thing I wanted to go over was the actual masks. I want to see if they changed. I don't think they did though. We have the neck accessory, which is like that bone jaw. That is still standard and the same. This mask is the same. Oh, it looks cute with the horns. And this mask is the same. So no major changes there. The fact that we can now wear two accessories is really exciting. Like I just put on the bunny and now I'm gonna put on the horns as well. I know that's gonna excite a lot of people. This also really benefits the chibi mask wearers because you can wear the chibi mask with any of these face accessories now, which means your mask doesn't have to be quite so plain. Okay, let's check out the rest of the hair accessories to see if there's any changes. Is this a little lighter? It could be, I can't really tell. I like this hat, it's cool. A little dewdrop leaf, so cute. I do know that this now has a tattoo on the back of the head, which looks so cool. Uh, I love wearing the bald hairstyles, so I think that's a big plus to have a cool tattoo now. Some color in the back of your head, looks really cool. You know, I actually want to see what it looks like with the mask that comes bundled with the spirit. <gasps> cool! I love them. They look so neat. Okay, and for the capes, I don't think there's any changes, but I'll show the cape again, just in case. It is right here. Massive, flowy, I love the uh, colors in where it's tied up at the neck. So cool. And then last but not least, we have the props to check out. So we have the base game camera. We also have what I assume to be the uh, season pass camera, but I'm not really sure at this point. Here we have a WIP, but it's nothing. Interesting. Just kidding, I came back and this isn't nothing. It's a little gem prop at our feet. Obviously, it's very small and very buggy looking, but I can expect that we probably have a seasonal quest having to do with that gem area in the new season area, which is pretty exciting because that place looks so cool. I'm actually so obsessed with these face accessories. The fact that we can wear them on top of things like this bandana just looks ridiculous. They look so silly. 
But yeah, the face accessories and the shoe part of the closet are the biggest changes to the closet lately. And I think they're pretty exciting. I can't wait to see how they improve in the future. I love that we can now wear elder masks with any other mask. And chibi mask wearers can actually wear some accessories for once. So cute. Anyways, that is all the changes with the closet portion of this update. I know there's an update to the camera, which I might make a video on pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much, as always, for watching. Oh, hello? Hi. Okay, bye guys. See you around. Hey.